Hey guys, Archie off the Dome Media Group. And in this one, we're talking about Class C airspace. I'll be right back. All right, Class C airspace is like Class B airspace in the sense that it is controlled airspace and requires authorization prior to entry. Now, as you see, Class C airspace is a step down from Class B or Bravo airspace. Now, some of the smaller airports in the United States with Class C airspace uh, include Little Rock National Airport, Tucson International Airport, Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, LA Ontario International Airport, and one of my favorites, Chicago Midway International Airport. The altitude is from the surface of Class C airspace to the top of Class C airspace or the bottom of Class B airspace. I'll say that again. The altitude of Class C airspace is from the surface to the top of the Class C airspace or the bottom of Class B airspace. Class C airspace usually only has one shelf and it's still, just like Class B airspace, resembles an upside down wedding cake. Just as a reminder, recreational UAS drone pilots cannot fly within five miles of an airport. However, a FAA Part 107 remote pilot can fly within control airspace, be it Class B or C airspace with authorization. Okay, this was just a quick overview of Class C airspace, but if you want to learn more and become a UAS drone super nerd pilot and piss off your friends, do what I did. Check out the always updated course for life at remotepilot101.com. The link is in the description below. As always, subscribe, like, share, follow, and always fly safe. Peace.